Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to examine whether the following quadratic equation has real roots. If so, find the roots of this given quadratic equation. And one thing just keep in your mind that whenever we are talking about roots, roots are also called, we call it solutions. Just keep in your mind. And here we can see that we have a quadratic equation which is in standard form. We are going to compare this standard form quadratic equation with our given quadratic equation and we can see that our a is simply square root of 2, b is 7 and c is 5 square root of 2. And now in our next step, we are going to examine whether this given quadratic equation has real roots. For that reason, we are going to use this discriminant. Discriminant is always equal to b squared minus 4ac. And we know our a, b, and c values. Let's plug it in fill in the blanks right now. In our case, b is simply 7. That becomes 7 square minus 4. a in our case is square root of 2 times 5 square root of 2. So far so good. And here we are going to simplify. This is going to be a 7 square is 49 minus 4 times 5 is going to minus 20 times. You can see this. Whenever we have a 2 square roots, when we multiply, we just simply get 2. So 49 minus this is going to become 40, which is equal to 9. And as we know that this discriminant, which is 9, is a positive number. Okay, since this is a positive number here, I have given you a chart over here and you can see that if this is this discriminant is positive, then we are going to have two real roots or real solutions. So that really means that, yes, we are going to have real roots for this given quadratic equation. And now in the next step, we are going to find the roots of this given quadratic equation. And for that purpose, we will be using the quadratic formula, which I have just wrote down over here. So let's go ahead and substitute the values for a, b, and c in this quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and get started. Negative and b is 7 plus or minus and as you can see that this b square minus 4 ac is right up here we found out the value of b square minus 4 ac which is 9 so i can replace that thing square root of 9 divided by 2 times a is simply square root of 2. So that means we are going to have a negative 7 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3 divided by 2 square root of 2. And now let's look at these two signs. One is positive sign. The other one is negative sign. And we are going to split them up. We're going to separate these numbers. And since we are running out of space on this left hand side, I am going to move on the right hand side and I'm going to separate these numbers as negative 7 plus 3 divided by 2 times square root of 2. And the other one is going to be negative 7 minus 3 divided by 2 square root of once again, one with a positive sign, the other one is negative. So let's simplify. That is going to give us negative 4 divided by 
2 square root of 2 is going to give us if we simplify that means it is going to be negative 2 over square root of 2 and here I wrote down this negative 2 square root divided by square root of 2 right up here and always keep in your mind that we must not put a square root or the radical at the denominator so we are going to rationalize it so rationalizing means whatever is in the denominator we are going to multiply or divide it by 2 so on the top it's going to become simply negative 2 times square root of 2 and when we multiply these two radicals that is going to give us just 2 and this 2 and 2 is gone it reduces to simply negative square root of 2 that is reason why we got this is same as negative square root of 2. So thus our x value turns out to be negative square root of 2. And now let's focus on this other side over here negative 7 and negative 3 is going to become negative 10 divided by 2 times square root of 2 and here we can reduce it 2 goes into 10 twice so that is going to simply become negative 5 over square root of 2 so thus our another x value turns out to be a negative 5 divided by square root of 2 and once again we have a radical at the denominator we must get rid of it so I'm going to rationalize over here I just wrote down this thing I am going to multiply and divide by whatever this radical at the denominator on the top that is going to give us negative 5 times square root of 2 divided by this 2 these become simply 2 and we can see that we no longer have a radical at the denominator so this is same as writing negative 5 square root of 2 divided by 2 so thus our roots are our solution set turns out to be right up here and if we rationalize this denominator over here which is we figured out this one then our solution set is going to look like right here as you can see and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye